All right, guys, I got one for you. This is gonna be a tugboat video, and I'm gonna tow that barge 900 miles one way to Cuba and back, taking you guys along. I hope you enjoy. Look how that sunset. It's gonna get good here in a minute. guys see that wire on that drum that's what we tow on that's the level that's the level one this is our backup see there's no wire on there just getting ready to put a wire on there got a wire up on the the hill up there you see it on the crane and we're gonna put it in those sawhorses and pull it up onto this drum and it ain't an easy thing it takes some beating and uh, persuasion to get it on there especially without a level one Right, guys we got that wire taken care of it's about noon and i'm going to grub up the boat so we are able to get grub once every 14 days on this boat and uh we ran a van put all the seats down and filled up with groceries got the one cart that don't work And grub shopping is done. I got a full load back there. I uh, I won't say how much we spend, but I had about four foot of receipt, if that tells you anything. So back to the tug. We'll get this stuff loaded up, and I think we're done for the day. We're gonna do fuel 8 a.m. tomorrow. We have to shift over to Blood Island, and uh, they will load our barge, and we'll be underway, headed to Cuba. Wires on, sun's going down, and we got the groceries on. We got a shift over to Blunt Island. Uh, once we get the groceries put away, we'll shift over there and get made up to our barge or shift it or whatever it is they want to do. But guys are busy putting away groceries. Urgh. All right, guys, we're taking on fuel. The last thing we gotta do before we go here, we're gonna take two of those tanker trucks. They're 7,000 gallons each. Uh, the guys are down there at the fuel manifold taking on fuel. We have multiple tanks and we hold a lot of fuel, but I'm gonna go over that um, in a minute here with you guys. Just wanted to show you what it looked like while we were doing fuel at the dock here in Blunt Island, Jacksonville. What are you doing there, ice fishing? Tell them what that does. That's gonna tell us how much fuel is in this tank. So the baby powder in the bottom, right like that. Pick it up. Read the number. We are at eight, nine and a half. We got another fisherman right there. I'm at eight, ten. Keep it flat and trip. And we are taking the fuel on right there at that manifold. All these bags are for the tanks, in case we burp the vent. So 
we all got a little nap after making up tow. Um, we're set to sail at 20 hundred. Sun's going down here in Jacksonville. Ready to get this show on the road and uh, head to Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. been 
fairly rough, not losing sleep rough, but rough enough where we haven't been able to get out on deck and do any fishing or anything like that or painting. Um, but uh, I'll give you guys a little tour of the wheelhouse. We've got Rose Point up there, that's our chart plotter. We also have a backup Garmin, but we do 99.9% .9 everything on the Rose Point, um, which is actually a computer program and we can load up any charts and things and you can do all kinds of really cool stuff with it. Uh, we have an autopilot, which like I said, is out right now. So I've been uh, hand steering for uh, about 350 miles, which isn't too bad. Um, you can generally get it going the direction you want. We have two radars. Uh, two VHF radios and we've got this is how we control the big high power spotlight up on top of the wheelhouse depth sounder it's obviously um, too deep to be using that right now but uh I was gonna tell you guys oh I'd mentioned fuel we hold about 80,000 gallons of fuel right now we're burning just over 2,000 gallons of fuel a day so do the do that math in your head but I'm going to show you where we are right now on the chart. Uh, we keep this chart out all the time. Um, so we came down the coast from Jacksonville, south of the Cape. We got to about Stewart and we cut across. Then we come down the Bahamian Bank here into the Santorin. And we're about to enter the Old Bahama Channel. Um, then we'll come off this chart a little bit and end up back in Gitmo here. That's just a handy chart to have out on the uh, desktop. Speaking of the desktop, it's where we do all our paperwork and we do a lot of paperwork. I won't really bore you with it, but um, when I first started doing this, there wasn't very much paperwork. Now there is a lot. Uh, <clears throat> but I think Aaron the deckhand is cooking some ribs tonight and uh, Whenever I get off watch, I'm going to take you guys down and uh, show you the rib dinner. I did what you said with the collars, and they turned out really good. What else did you make? We got three different kind of ribs down there. We got Sweet Heat, Carolina Barbecue, and Sweet Baby Ray's, and uh, Mac and Cheese. Oh boy. Sometimes the meal at the end of the day is the most exciting thing that happens on a tugboat when you're underway. We're out here just off the coast of Cuba, Cayo, Cayo Coco, I think. But uh, I'm gonna get off watch here in a minute, go eat them ribs. How is it? Food good? Tug grub. Let's see. Bust one off here. They're tender. Delicious. Juicy. after this um, still on hand steer not a whole lot going on I think we're having shepherd's pie for dinner Well, we 
got one day to go. It's still rough. Nobody's sleeping good. Everybody's tired. But just having a cup of coffee before my watch. I work 12 to 6, so from noon to 6 p.m. and midnight to 6 in the morning. Uh, we do run on military time, but uh, oh, tossing and turning all night. Eventually, you just get tired enough where you sleep. But uh, I'll show you out the porthole here. Looks like it's got a lot better. The wind is laid down. It's not white capping anymore. So that means it's probably 10 to 15. It's blowing 15 to 20 when I went to bed. So, got two more watches. That is the sun setting on the eastern tip of Cuba. See where the land ends right there? Sun's going down, the weather's calmed down substantially. We're all gonna get at least a little rest at this off watch. The barge is towing good and we'll be in Guantanamo in the morning. Thank you guys. We're done with our day and we're headed to the beach. It's a perk of the job. You get done with what you got to do, you can go off and have a little bit of fun. Yes, Mr. President. Some of you younger folks don't know what that is, <laughs> but that's what we had before iPhones. Well, for cell phones. All right, so we came down to a little beach called, this is Glass Beach, uh, but we're gonna go do a little hike that Aaron showed me some cool stuff. I haven't seen it before, so we're gonna check it out. Cool banyan tree. This whole way, we're going along like there's just like a rock outcropping down to the bay. My buddy Greg is one of the captains on that ferry. He lives down here. This is cool. This is a uh, an old. Um, I guess where they used to have like the big guns would have been right there, like in a turret. So, you guys, see that there would have been a big gun turreted right there, and then looks like another one over here. They got a sign that says maybe we shouldn't go up there. Like I said, they would have had the long guns or the big guns mounted right there. The heavy artillery. So if you tried to come into the bay here, you was getting shot up. It says 1906 on it. That must have been when they built it. Kind of crazy to think. Another big banyan tree. It's pretty wild. Shoo! Look at that. Get Mo Bay. Aaron, are you going to cliff jump? Look at that. Beautiful. It's a long ways down.
I lied. When we started out, uh, we were at the ferry dock. Now we're at Girl Scout Beach. The sign for all the. Oh, it's Glass Beach. We're at Glass Beach, not Girl Scout Beach, and not the ferry dock. What's up? Like the water looks super clear. This is the McDonald's, Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. Do you want to go inside or go through the drive-thru? I'll go inside. You gotta show. You gotta show the folks the wonderfulness that is the inside of it's this McDonald's. Straight like 1993 McDonald's. They got Ronald himself. From the time when you were like a little kid. I don't know. The McDonald's is now look like hotel lobbies or something. <laughs> it's weird. No character. Don't judge us though. There isn't really anywhere else to get food. <laughs> Hello. Aaron got the McRib. Show it to the people. Oh, it looks just like the picture. Oh, delicious. Mmm. Hold on. Those actual bones? That's, I don't know, but you can chew through them. That's the good part. <laughs> I went for nuggets, double cheeseburger, fries. You look around this place. It's like the 1990s McDonald's. Oh yeah, the man. So it's, uh, I don't know, 7.30 at night. They're still actually working up on the barge up there, but I just came out to the back deck, have a little look around, and there's a bunch of tarpon in the water, which I knew they'd be out here. Uh, but I'm gonna see if I get a little bit of video for you guys, check them out. Um, I have messed with them and caught them. I usually can't land them, but I can hook, up, hook them up. I just don't feel like doing it tonight, but uh, show them to you guys. Good morning, folks. It's Thursday morning. We've been here for two days. The barge has been loaded. And uh, we're going to head back to Jacksonville. We've got some severe weather up that way. And uh, I'll show you a little clip of that. Thing is, uh, we got to be there for Tuesday. What we'll probably do is end up kind of dragging our feet. And that way the weather will pass and we'll come in behind it and we won't get beat to death. But I think it's gonna be a little rough. Four and a half days, we'll be back in Jack's. and let you guys have a look. Make it into the edit or not um 
but I was gonna take you guys for a walk out on deck. We've got 732 nautical miles left to go, but it's just calmed down enough where I think I could get outside, show you some stuff. Now, last night it got a little spicy in the Windward Passage. We had a whole tire flip up. See, we have those tires for cushion going up against the barges and the docks and things. And the weather was gnarly enough to flip that tire up. Looking good. See the chafe board on the wire there it keeps us from chafing our wire in the rough weather. We're a little bit side seat, which is not what you want. It makes for an uncomfortable ride, but this is it. And that's that. What'd you make? Got some Cajun shrimp pasta down there, a little spicy, spicy. A little savory. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Well, we'll go down and get some grub then. Say much Charles Lee anything. Look at that. One more scoop. Happy sleeping good. Cheese on there. Let's give it a shot. Shrimp. back to Jacksonville without getting our butts kicked uh, if you're in if you're in Florida and you watch the news you probably know about it I'm talking about 14 foot seas and stuff but uh take you inside and show you what a plan is on the computer here Aaron wants to know the plan too so I'll explain it to both you guys we're right about here and we're heading we want to get off of Miami in the next couple days. So what's going to happen is it's going to switch more out of the south this evening. And it's still going to be blowing pretty hard. It's calling for 30 knots out of the southeast there. But we will ride the weather up. And then when we get up to Miami, it's going to switch and come more out of the west. Once we get up here and it's coming out of the west, we're going to shorten up our tow wire we'll get right on the beach and scoot right up the coast so we'll be in the lee of mainland florida what do you think right on dude miami so this is it guys it's the last night before we get into jacksonville i'm going home tomorrow on tuesday uh, but I do have to hang around and help them get the boat uh, ready for the next trip. You know, I feel like there's been a lot of just these little interviews, and I'm not sure how this video will all edit out right now, but uh, I'm happy to be going home, spend Christmas with the girls, and uh, watching the sunset over Daytona. So this is it. It's crew change day. I'm just waiting on my relief to come in a rental car. We got the barge here in Jack's. They're gonna offload it tomorrow. But uh, while I'm waiting, I'm gonna do a little quick tour of the boat with you guys. Um, starting off, we got our two tow winches here. That's what we tow the barge with. Oh, and 
you get a better look at them from this side here. Each of them hold 2,000 feet of uh, two inch wire. We just put those brand new wires on that you saw in the beginning of the video. Um, so those are the tow winches. We're gonna go into what we call the fiddly. It's gonna be loud. I'm gonna take you down in the engine room real quick. But uh, this is the fiddly. That is the tow motor right there. And everything's a mess because we're in port, but this is down to the engine room. These are our generators. They run the power and light. And these are the main engines. So these are actually EMDs. They were designed for locomotives, for trains. And they're very common in older tugboats. But we've got those back here. you got gearboxes. That's where the shafts go out to the props. But we also have a water maker. This is a newer water maker. We can, we use that through reverse osmosis and we can take, make fresh water while we're at sea from the ocean water. So I'll get out of here because it's loud. Next we have the galley. Door right here from the fiddly to the galley. The galley. Got crew guys. You guys have seen the galley already. You've seen us down here cooking. Whiteboard. We use that to communicate with each other. We have two big freezers. Keep all our frozen stuff. Big fridge. We come down here to the companion way. We've got this big pantry anything you could ever dream of in here cookies and snacks and pasta and all the things that's why i'm so round got staterooms engineer a b storage storage you got a head here coming up captain's room Another head there. Come down here. This is my room. It's all tidied up right now uh, for my on signer, but got a TV, little bunk. We got some storage here, you know, hanging closet, a shelf for all your things. And then from there, we go up to the wheelhouse. This is the wheelhouse. Oh boy. That's Ben. <laughs> That's Captain Nick. But the wheelhouse is the end of this tour. You guys have seen plenty of the tug and plenty of me up here. So just waiting on my relief now. It's the rental. It's happening. Going home. God, a tiny little car. Yeah. No better feeling than pulling away from the boat yeah. on crew change day. Crew change. I'm dropping the rental car. Crystal's here to get me. There she is. All right, guys. Well, as you can see, I'm back home. I'm getting ready to go catch some mullet. But that's going to be the end of this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it's one of the longer videos I've ever made, and I didn't go super into depth on things, but I wanted you to get the gist of what it's like to work on an ocean-going tugboat. And I think I captured that pretty well for y'all. Uh, shoot me a comment, ask me questions, um, let me know what else you'd like to see on the boat, and we'll see you on the next one.